Where does this tunnel come out? I don't know. But we've got to help Ron. Do you hear something? The Pogo! We've better both cast at once! Rick, Rick to Sephra! Rick to Rick Sephra! To the Pulso! The Pulso! The Pulso! Don't see a way back up. Keep looking. I'll see if I can find a way down to you. Right then. How do I get across this? Draconicals!
a good dragon. Ron's all right.
the dog it's not a dog <sighs> There's no need to be afraid. Sirius Black is not what you think he is. And Scabbers, he's not a rat. He's a wizard by the name of Peter Pettigrew. What? Watch. I can explain. Pettigrew's an Animagus. It wasn't Sirius Black who betrayed your parents, Harry. It was Pettigrew. Not only betrayed James and Lily Potter to Voldemort, he had also framed Sirius Black as Voldemort's spy. It was agreed that Pettigrew would be taken back to Hogwarts and turned over to Professor Dumbledore. But there was one more secret to be revealed. at least. Professor Lupin is a werewolf. That sounded like a dog. It must be him. Go and help Sirius. I'll take care of Ron. Leave him alone. He's innocent.
Harry, are you all right? What's happened? Is Sirius okay? Where's Ron? Madam Pomfrey says Ron will be all right. He just needs some rest. Unfortunately, Sirius Black is not faring so well. He's locked in a high tower. He'll be handed over to the Dementor soon. There's nothing I can do to stop it. But he's innocent! I believe that's true. What we need is more time. But... oh! The Time Turner! Time Turner? More than one innocent life could be saved tonight. I meant to tell you. Eventually. Professor McGonagall let me borrow this Time Turner. I've been using it all year to go back in time so I could attend extra lessons. That explains a lot. We could use it to go and save Buckbeak. And then fly him up to the tower to rescue Sirius. But we must take care not to be seen by our earlier selves. in there somewhere. It's awfully quiet. You're sure you set the time turn about the right amount? Look! There's Bugbeak! Brilliant! Let's find a way to get to it. There must be a way to make this platform go up! The Pulsar! Excellent! A sponge of my tile! <laughs> You did it! Perfect. Careful now. Right. Oh no! The door closed! Well, there's got to be a way out. Tight. I'll see what's in there.
of good that did. Now we're both stuck in here. The Pulsos! Jocelyn Wadcock, 1911 to the present. Chaser for Puddlemere United Quidditch team. Record for highest number of goals during British season this century against Ballycastle Bats, 1931. Sasharissa Tugwood, 1874 to 1966. Pioneer of beautifying potions. Discovered pimple curing properties of Bubotuba Plus. I'll go see if it's time to rescue Sirius. Be careful, Harry! Still using the power of the Time Turner, Harry hurried towards the lake. He had to learn who had cast the Patronus spell that had saved him from the Dementors. Had his father come to help him? Had James Potter cast the spell that saved Harry's life? And then Harry understood. He hadn't seen his father. He had seen himself. Expect to explode him!
believe it! You conjured up a Patronus that drove away all those Dementors! That's very, very advanced magic! I knew I could do it this time because I'd already done it. Does that make sense? Harry, we've got to rescue Sirius from the tower and get back to the hospital wing before anybody realizes we're missing. Right, let's go! to go. They'll be here any moment. Quick, go! How can I ever think? Go! We'll see each other again. You are truly your father's son now. <laughs> News of Sirius Black's escape spread throughout the school like wildfire. No one seemed to know how he had managed it. Harry, Ron, and Hermione kept what they knew to themselves. Besides, it was the day of their final exams, and not all of the friends were well prepared. I don't know how you're possibly going to pass your exams, Ron. You've hardly studied a thing. Me? What about you? You spent all that time researching Buckbeach's defense. Please, Ron, give me some credit. I used the time turner to study, of course. I'm aiming for perfect marks. She's always got an answer, doesn't she? Bad news, Ron. Your carpet retractor exam is first. We'd better head up to Professor Lupin's classroom. Shall we take the portrait shortcut to the third floor? Or the stairway? <laughs> 